Hey guys, this is Coward from Coward's Corner. Just wanted to touch base with you. I've been getting the question like, how do I know if I have the, a person, the right person in my life to move on with and because I've been involved in um, these one-sided relationships and things like that. And one of the big things I want to tell you that one big problem that most people have with moving on and and find, and, and actually committing or giving giving themselves to the other person is because they're still, their last relationship, their last, it never ended. Yeah, that, yeah, I said it. So everybody, these people are still holding on to their last relationships. All the pain, of the, all the crap. Yeah, I said it, okay? Message, right? Message. So people have been divorced for years, or I've heard, we've been divorced for years, broken up for years, blah, 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 blah. Yet yeah, none of your relationships um, have ever ended. So what I like to call you is the survivor. The survivor tends to put people on the back burner because they can't leave their old life and old hurts behind. The survivor will argue with you um, on how they don't care, don't have any feelings about the old person, the other person. Yet that old person is like is, is still a controller in their world. They control their life through their hurt, through their lack of healing, your lack of healing. Um, through manipulation, and it affects any of your new relationships. Um, the, the, um, they stay trapped in their old relationships, spilling that toxic energy from the old person or old people over to the new relationship, which no one deserves that. The new person does not deserve to be um, spilt over with the toxic things that you brought from your old relationship. And, and this is because of the insecurities and uncertainty of the survivor because they have yet to deal with any of a lot of the things in their life that makes them ready to receive a new person.